This is what we all want. Beautiful, clear brood. No apparent diseases at all. Doesn't always stay this way, does it? First thing you feel is panic. What is this? It's not right. Sunken cappings, dead larvae, uh, shotgun pattern brood. This looks like European foul brood based primarily on the contorted dead position of the larvae. You see them twisted there in white. Your panic is American fowl brood. Look for the punctured cappings. The larvae look okay. Back to uh, European fowl brood. See how twisted and contorted the larvae are? They're in pain, so to speak. Back to American fowl brood for a comparison. Look at the punctured cappings. Yes, there's a dead larvae or two, but the cappings and the general health indicate that this is European. Don't confuse it with bee parasitic mite syndrome, which is a colony collapse caused by mites. Stop the video and look at all the mites that are in the cells here. There will be mites and dead bee parts and parts of brood everywhere. It's a mess. You won't see those kind of conditions in European fowl brood or American fowl brood. European fowl brood is a limiting disease. The larvae die in the early developmental stages and never reach the pupil stage. There's a stench, an odor, as these larvae decay. And as their fat residue soaks back into the frame and the comb, it gets a blackened, darkened effect. So overall, look for larvae that are in bad shape and overall sense the odor and the shotgun pattern. Be sure to get help. Be sure to get help. You need advice on this if you're a new beekeeper. They can recover from European fowl brood, but don't confuse it with American fowl brood. Brood diseases happen to all of us. Be prepared.